Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Thursday, September 14th, 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. Happy New Moon Day, guys. We've got the new moon in Virgo occurring today uh, and coupled with Mercury going direct tomorrow. So you may feel that things are turning around for you a little bit today. Uh, perhaps things that you've been merely thinking about or contemplating. Now is the time when you are uh, very possibly spurned into action. So for some of you, this may be a day of decision making and then you're going to go for something. You're going to get something done. Uh, so making some progress today. So this could be really great. Have a look at the new moon in Virgo readings. Uh, they are posted for you now. And uh, uh, check out your first check out your rising sign, right? Your rising sign is really a little bit more about your daily life. Um, your sun sign, of course, this is uh, what you project where you're going and quite often has to do with like your job and your career and check out your moon sign reading as well, which of course has to do with the moon itself and all of your emotions, your subconscious uh, energies coming in there for you guys. You get the whole big picture. So this should be a very interesting new moon. Of course, new moons are a great time to set intentions as well, whether they're little intentions with small goals that you want or whether they're big ones. This is a great time to uh, do a little bit of meditation or contemplation. However, the new moon energy works for you guys, but it is new. It is fairly, uh, fairly calm and down to earth, but you might be looking at the details of things in the next couple of days. So let's see what we've got. And we've got work through your fears and we've got Scorpio energy. And uh, so, of course, this is all about change, changing your perspective, changing how you look at things, embracing the things that scare you instead of being paralyzed by the things that scare you. What are we doing? Grabbing on to our personal power. And it's so fitting that this particular energy has come out because right at this new moon, we do have Uranus at play. Okay, Uranus is the planet of chaos and awakenings and liberation and change. But we've got Uranus forming a grand trine for some of you, but a trine for others um, with Pluto. And Pluto rules Scorpio energy. So for, uh, for some of you, the changes that you may be experiencing over the next six months and that could occur uh, in the very near future as well are big, right? And they're long lasting as well. So work through some things here, embrace some change. Some of you may on a daily level need to be a little bit flexible today or change how you deal with people, change your perspective, change your outlook, be willing to open up a little bit and, uh, you know, see someone else's point of view. Okay. So, but there is a freedom energy that's coming in here. So freedom from fears and worries and doubts. Um, it may come in for you guys as well. All right. We have Neptune energy coming in here as well. And Neptune speaks to uh, your dreams, your visions, right? It's not supposed to be upside down. Um, <laughs> this is all about what you see. This is a great time for you guys to not just on your daily level, but also in the big picture to turn a vision, a goal, a dream into reality. You may have been thinking about something for a while. Perhaps some of you have been reviving something in your life for a little while. Now is the time when you may have the opportunity to really follow through with something, follow through with that dream, follow through with that goal. And it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, right? This is give, saying to you, the time is now. It's a great time. We're heading into autumn. Autumn is a time of harvest right? Harvesting your goals and your dreams, getting things done, seeing progress. We've got Venus direct now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Venus direct bringing us the resources that you need to get things done. So embrace change, open your heart, open your mind, and <clears throat> really think about what it is that you want uh, to do um, in your world. The Neptune energy is very, very psychic energy as well. And the moon cycles, when they hit their phases, right? New moon, um, new moon, full moon. This may be a time when you're seeing more signs than you maybe previously ever have. Um, I am currently being bombarded, <laughs> and I mean bombarded, by threes and fours. 
um, which is better than the fives I got bombarded with a couple of months ago. So you might be seeing some more signs and symbols, synchronicities. You might be recognizing certain things that, um, you know, you've previously seen and you're like, you know what? I don't think that was actually a coincidence. Uh, so you're very tuned in psychically because this, this new moon can bring in awakenings for a lot of people as well. So over the next couple of days, your intuition is probably going to be heightened to levels that it previously have been like not seen by you, right? Um, this may be pay attention to your dreams. Neptune rules your dreams, right? So pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal beside your bed. You don't even need to make it anything fancy. Um, all you need to do is really just uh, have a pen and paper to write something down um, because I think some of you may be having some sort of visions, uh, something in your dreams. This might be where you're awakening psychically a little bit. Um, so it can be really interesting time for you. All right. So very interesting times right here. And like I said, just check out that, um, check out that moon reading. All right. Uh, so we've got the three of cups, the page of wands, and we've got the nine of wands. Okay. Some of you, you really need to, um, you really need to take some time to yourself. Okay. The nine of wands can indicate, um, that you're getting something done. Right. Great. Nines are about completion, right? Getting things done, uh, working hard, being very productive. However, the nine of wands can show an element of exhaustion. I'm tired. I'm worn down. I need to get some more sleep. Some of you may possibly experience a little bit of sleep disruption at this new moon. Usually the full moon kind of brings a little bit more uh, sleep chaos, if you will. This moon is a lot gentler, a lot more down to earth, a lot calmer in its energy. But, you know, some of you, I think you're really getting some maybe good news or you're just uh, really busy and it's working for you. It's in your benefit, right? But again, remember in this energy to take some time for yourself to take a little bit of a break. If you're working really, if you've got a lot of things going on in your workplace, right you're working your fingers to the bone take your lunch break I am the master of you know saying uh, do what I say and not what I do right because I always work through my lunch breaks right my muggle job and um, you know but it's really not the best thing always okay so if you have an opportunity make sure you take your breaks uh, walk away from your computer if you work on one whatever it happens to be for you okay you need to take that little bit of time even five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes if you can okay and this really can help revive your energy in all ways in all levels all right but we do have the three of cups so this today might be fairly social for some of you in this energy some of you may have something to celebrate maybe you're celebrating a new job or maybe you found a new opportunity or you're just feeling really positive the three of cups does bring about a social aspect to your day so you might be getting together with some friends maybe you're going for happy hour um, maybe they have something to celebrate and they invite you along uh, just to clink a glass and you know say yay right and you know so you might be celebrating someone else's accomplishments today as well but the three of cups is in a very positive card um, bringing you joy and celebration and just making you feel really positive. This is where people are working well together as well, instead of, you know, instead of uh, fighting or arguing, right? This is today of where people do uh, get together and get things done. But we do have the Page of Wands here as well. And the Page of Wands speaks to manifestation, your ability to manifest things into your life. But the Page of Wands can be some really, really good news coming in. And with the Nine of Wands here, maybe something that you have worked really hard to achieve. So this can be where you're opening doors for yourself for new opportunities. Perhaps some of you are leveling up in your career path. You may have, again, some good news uh, that might be your good news to share with other people, or um, perhaps there is just this celebratory energy in the wind, maybe again, uh, one of your friends or your family or your social circle in some way um, is rejoicing in some way. But the Page of Wands is an excellent energy for getting out, for having fun, uh, for tapping into your inner child, for having a bit of an adventure. And it really does um, bring in a next level or a next stage of something for some of you as well. So in this Nine of Wands energy, right, where we're kind of tired, we're worn down. Number one, the Virgo energy does bring in a little bit of healing. For you, okay, so the new moon is a great time to kind of wipe the slate clean, have a fresh start. Um, but this can also 
um, really represent that you have worked hard to accomplish something and hurrah, hurrah, you have got it done. So whatever your situation is today, even if you're not exactly where you want to be, maybe you're just feeling more positive about what the future holds, whatever your situation is, celebrate all of your accomplishments, both good and bad. It's a great time to set intentions, to speak out positive affirmations into the universe. The page of wands is um, an energy tied to manifestation. So remember in this energy, manifest from a place of abundance and positivity and not from one of lack, right? We don't focus on the things we don't want. We focus on the things we want to blossom and grow in our lives, right? We forget that sometimes, right? Because we are trained as humans to focus on the negative or to focus on the problems, right? And, you know, we kind of uh, skip over and gloss over some of the positive things every once in a while. So turn off the TV, disconnect from the news, perhaps for yourself and you might feel as though a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders when you do that all right so really positive vibes coming in there for you today but that nine of wands again big reminder self-love self-care take some time off if you can or at least take a lunch break and remember that you know the road to are to achieve our goals and dreams isn't always the easiest one and it's not always a short one okay and so it's a marathon not a race so just remember that put one foot in front of the other and you will get to where you need to get to at some point so let's grab a couple final cards for you now i was going to bring out little moon cards but i thought you know what with this with this new moon um and where it happens to be and the other astrology that's around it right mercury going direct we've got uranus we've got pluto um we've got some great energy to free your mind to free your soul uh to help you get active to make some change so i thought well i'll bring out the magic cards here instead of the little moon cards so these are going to be sigils, um, little symbols. You can take a screenshot and hold it up to the phone. And if it speaks to you, uh, keep it as a screensaver on your phone. It does carry some wonderful resonance, bringing you some magic. So the first one we have, well, would you look at that? We've got prosperity coming in there for you. All right. That is your magical symbol for prosperity. A prosperous business with riches and success. Well, isn't that nice? All right. Our next one is Felix Felicitas, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. All right. Hopefully that focuses in there for you. So wonderful energy. And last but not least, let's see what we have. The energy of fire. Beautiful. Fire. Without fire, nothing can grow. grow. Fire is cleansing and purging. Fire is initiation, action, getting things done. It's the fire, the passion in your belly. So beautiful. The element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion, and positive transformation. So there you go. That's that symbol for fire. Beautiful. Put all three of those together and you've got some major magic in there for you guys all right so i'm going to leave that there for you folks don't forget to check out your new moon readings i thank you for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye